Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to my uh, Ovation Breadwinner type uh, acoustic jazz guitar build. Um, thought it'd be kind of interesting to record this thing uh, as I will be uh, using an Ovation Breadwinner Decon uh, guitar shape. Not really sure if there's a plan out there or anything, but uh, uh, so I did make a plan off the, the images I found on the internet. And it will be a headless guitar, and the bodies will be fully chambered, and it'll be uh, maple top. Uh, so I thought it may be interesting to some people that uh, if I record this. So here we go. So basically, starting out with a sort of a template, a paper template uh, of the guitar shape. What I did was basically I found an image, you know, a, a straight-on image as much as possible on the internet. Uh, basically, I brought it into my graphics program. Um, I'm using Corel, Corel Draw, uh, but I think Illustrator will do also. And basically, from that, be, uh, you do a trace, uh, so you get a vector image of the the outlines of the shape. And by doing that, you get a fairly precise outline of the shape. Um, I don't know. I used to own an Ovation, uh, so I know it was big. But um, you don't really know what the size of the guitar is. However, in the case of Ovation or most of the guitar, the scale length is known. So what you do then is, you know, put this trace side by side against a known guitar. A Strat would have a 25.5 inch scale. And ooh, I can't remember what I did, but I thought the Ovation was a 25.5 inch scale also. So basically... Uh, by making the scale length equal, you know what the size of the guitar is. In this case, I arrived at a body width. Using that method, I arrived at a body width of like 13 and a quarter, which is only slightly bigger than a Stratocaster, Telecaster type guitar. Um, in here is a sort of a strap neck template. Um, basically, it's, it's to mock things up. So when you put on it, basically you see here the cutout for the neck and the cutout for the neck here. So it comes in, you know, a, a pretty close. So this is sort of a credible presentation. And this will be a headless guitar. So yes, the neck top will look like that. Although this isn't meant to be that way. Um... Why am I choosing the Ovation Breadwinner shape? Uh, it is a cool shape, one, and I used to have a Breadwinner uh, some time ago. I felt it was very, very comfortable, a little bit large, but when you rest your arm over here, because of the way it falls out and because there's a lot more support here, I felt that to be comfortable. And also the two cups here, you could either put your thigh, thigh here and your thigh here and your thigh here to kind of put this part between your leg. And of course the problem was um, this part kind of bites into your thigh. So in, in my build, I'm just going to cut it out. Um, let's see. But so this kind of felt small, uh, although uh, it may possibly, right? I read somewhere that maybe a vision decon is about 14 and a half inches wide, which becomes really wide. Uh, <laughs> So made a second version and you know when, when I print this thing on the computer basically I, I blow this image out to be the correct size um, on the graphics program and since it's much, it's much bigger than an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper basically I put index marks and so basically use four pieces of paper here 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 and here and basically uh, uh, tape all the, the images together so it'd be one big uh, piece. And of course, if you have index mark, it helps you uh, line up the image as much as possible and then basically cut it out, right? So basically, I increased this to a total of 14 inches. I'm trying to line up the center mark. So now it's 14 inches and it's kind of interesting that um, it kind of grows like quarter of an inch, a half inch every direction. <laughs> but anyway, so now I have a 14 inch guitar. 
um, a 14 inch wide body. So was this wide enough? And I read it something, you know, 14 and a half inch or something like that. Um, a lot of the numbers are unreliable because some says like Strat is like a 13 and a half and I think it's below 13 inches. Uh, but in any case, so based on that, I just used a, I think this is a half inch plywood to basically cut it out and come with this shape, right? I saw a little image, and this is not finished yet. I saw a little image um, where the, the graphics image is, this part is very, very rounded. But I saw one that was a little bit more edgy shaping. Um, it may have been the angle of the photo, but I liked it. So basically I'm reflecting it. And basically the neck joint uh, from the front will be completely covered. So once the guitar is made, you will not see uh, any of the overhang of the the thing, but it'll just be a, a straight cut here is all you'll basically be seeing Another reason I made it 14 inches is case, right? Uh, I want <laughs> I store every single one of my guitar in hard cases and uh, When you make weird shaped guitars, it becomes difficult to store in hard uh, cases uh, the biggest case you'll find is usually an acoustic guitar case made by Gator, the, the molded kind, because it doesn't have the waist cut. Um, so it just it just goes straight, so it'll fit almost any guitar, but the problem is, you know, this guitar will be swimming in it. The, the real Ovation Breadwinner case is actually the same as an Ovation Shallow Bowl acoustic case with different um, padding inside to account for the shape, uh, which sounded kind of large. But if I keep this at 14 inches, a Jaguar Jazzmasters are actually really wide. They're, they're 14 inches wide. So this should fit a Jaguar Jazzmaster hard case, uh, which makes it a little bit easier to transport and a little bit more sturdy. Uh, that is uh, why I chose this dimension. In terms of the wood, Uh, basically this is an outdoor uh, three-piece wood it barely fits it is 14 inch wide it just fits at the edge so I may actually have to um, reshape this thing to make it a little bit narrower I might be able to do this shape uh, do this width. I'm not really sure and the top would be and my usual cluttered workbench This flame maple piece I got off of eBay has a, a strap drawn on it, but actually this is uh, wide enough to easily accommodate the 14 inch uh, body. I will probably be making a bend here uh, so the drop top would, would bend down here for comfort. An Ovation guitar usually has this carve out that's um, shaped in this car carve or curve, whereas mine would be straight. But I think I'm going to try to um, file down this shape uh, so it'll be a combination of a drop off as well as a uh, bevel um, caused by this shape, is why I'm thinking uh, how I'll make it. In terms of the neck, Let's see which side is better. So bird's eye maple neck. Well, a little bit of figure, a little bit of some kind of excitement. And this is a 30 inch uh, wood, four inches wide, one inch thick. And basically what I do is, uh, this is gonna be a headless guitar, right? So normally in a Stratocaster, uh, you have to uh, think about the headstock width which is which means you have to use a, a four inch uh, wide board but in this case um it's a headless guitar so essentially this is a this is the shape of the neck so i'm hoping that i could pull off two uh, headless guitar um blanks assuming that i will make another headless guitar anyways this is kind of where i am and uh, we'll see where it takes us so I band saw the two pieces and um, it will be a, the headless guitar will be a 24 fret guitar so accounting for a little bit more space but it does look wide enough to support uh, two necks. Hope, hope that uh, turns out to be true. So I believe the body template is done. Uh, basically this is only a half inch or less, maybe three eighth inch, not, not really sure. 
Um, to shape it at this is much easier than trying to shape a two inch wood. So you need to get this thing as accurate as possible. Talked earlier about some changes in the actual design of the guitar. So on this end, I think the white should be the original shape of the ovation. I made it a little bit sharper here. And also up here in this bout, I made it a more pronounced cut going up here and then just kind of round coming in rather than being a total round. So this is kind of a, a throwback to my BC Rich Eagle. And finally, this curve in, which from a design point I like, but this is uh, digs into my thigh. So basically I cut it to, I think this line, to make it uh, smoother so it won't bite into my thigh. So the fretboard has been uh, cut in rough shape. And uh, I think I earlier showed the fingerboard cut. Actually the fretboard is <laughs> still wider than the fingerboard so it does need to be trimmed down a little bit more and here is the top joining let's see so it is the um, flame maple top uh, basically with this and the cable was a little bit too loose here um, you're tightening it down uh, on your you're basically making it flat so it, it mates at the same level so it's not you know staggered or anything like that and also these being pulled as you tighten this thing and smack it with a hammer really like this and and drive the wedge in wedge exerts a lot of force uh, down and up as well as pull these wires up to keep the boards together on top of that basically i have a long clamp uh, making sure that i have a nice clean glue surface for the flame maple top okay so this is what i have so far um the fret is fretboard and the neck hasn't been cut yet I haven't decided what to do with the ends uh, it will be a detachable neck um, this line here depicts where the 24 fret should align and once it does these should be the location where the two pickup goes and just got my Alnikov uh, Chinese uh, trem bridge these are tuned uh, from the end here looks like I could stick a ball in here or on the ball in the on the other side haven't really decided what to do on the uh, headstock side but basically this is um this piece stabs in to the wood and this end um, gets screwed in and there is a hole in here which i could clamp down which means i could do the loose ends here or i could also just stick a ball in from this side um, to make it firm So the difficulty, or the th question here is, in order for me to get my fingers under here to be able to tune this thing, I need about a 15 milli millimeter clearance, which I think is about nine, six, nine, eight, almost an inch, I guess. No, that's not correct. Yeah, whatever, three quarters of an inch or something. Uh, I'm, this thing is... Um, about 3 16th tall from the bottom of the plate to this so basically i need another 3 8 inch gap so i will have to uh scoop out uh, this side of the guitar like a floyd floyd rolls trim is usually scooped out so i'm kind of thinking that you know the ovations sort of had this trapezoidal style shape bridge so i was going to just carve it out uh, in this shape and maybe black it out uh, it will definitely go through the maple top because it's only a quarter inch thick uh, so the alder wood that will be underneath will show also another thing I'm trying to do here trying to make a decision here is the forearm bend um, I am going to put a, a, a bend uh, where it goes down and uh, i'm gonna steam bend it so i can only bend it in one direction which is a straight line 
but the profile of an ovation guitar is this curvature so basically what i was thinking is just i'll bend it here to kind of facilitate it but i'm going to have to file it down uh, based on this shape of course the problem is is um the maple exposed edge on this side is going to be sort of variable thickness um the top right now is about a quarter inch so probably around here it's probably going to be down to like an eighth of an inch and then maybe back to a quarter of an inch here unless i carve this thing down so not, not quite sure how to do that um this is meant to be an acoustic or a very hollowed out so on the uh let's see body wood a two inch body wood uh, i'll either have to go from the top side to uh, channel it out or chamber it out or go from the bottom like a rickenbacker i think sort of has a maple piece on the back but of course i do have a flame maple that i don't want to use on the back side of the guitar so i have to figure out what to do with it from the top of the guitar okay so this is what it's looking at like right now uh, the fret, uh, fret fingerboard has been cut to length and kind of made a little bit of detail at the end. Uh, Ovation has sort of like a, the, I think I'll call it book binding, the Gibson top, uh, the headstock top uh, in reverse. So it kind of brought that design in. But uh, to make it a little bit different, I made these peaks uh, sharp to <laughs> just give it a, a little bit of difference as a tribute. It is not an ovation copy. Anyways, so the 24 fret position is probably right around here. So the thing should lie around here. So looking at this, this is a wide expanse. Uh, so a little bit concerned. It needs to be a pick guard or maybe I'll extend this line bevel cut over this way um, to give it a little bit more shape or excitement on this side. Otherwise, it's gonna look too plain, I think.